Hi lovelies, welcome to my life and tarot. So, this is a response to all of you. I am actually a little bit surprised that my last update video I made um, made you feel or think that I'm somewhat in a down place or or in a low place right now as many of you commented I know I haven't yet responded or left any hearts I will because um, I want to take time to answer all of you and and some of you have reached out to me via Facebook or, or elsewhere to ask if I'm okay. I sounded maybe a little bit, um, yeah, like down. This is not the case at all. I just have moved to the energy of not giving a fish. So, uh, more precisely about telling my journey, sharing my journey and telling about what I'm experiencing and what I have experienced. So far I've played on the safe ground, more or less, uh, and run along all, with all the tags and and doing this like safe zone things and haven't talked about where I am right now on my journey or where I was, where I come from and all this but I have had like I mentioned so many signs lately and Maybe you remember I talked about this in the early spring that I feel I need to uh, explore deeper and uh, that my uh, third eye area is pretty much like uh, closed, which I have done to myself, closed it up because of something and I said I will explore into this when the summer and the busy and everything is over but I have had encounters and experiences that tell me that I need to start sooner because I had a feeling I need to do it and it's time but I really have been afraid of what I'm going to see or or feel or experience and related to that I have to tell you about I uh, initially thought I will make little sequels about uh, every little different detail I've been experienced or whom I've met and who said what but um, I have to mention this one right now this is related to the lady that approached me uh, I think a few weeks ago and who came to me and asked a pen and the paper and started to draw things there were numbers and and symbols and everything on it and a little message so how she approached me was she just came to me stood and looked I was out with a reading tent with the thing on the crafts fair let's call it crafts fair because there are different things and th this is not even important but 
and she smiled and said that I went by your tent a few times and something like spiral pulled me in and I'm not sure why I had to be here and she stood there and I was like okay um, whatever or or you know and then she she started to do like little circles with her head like this and closed her eyes and said that um, then opened the eyes and started to tell about her own story how she um, reached the higher uh, I don't know cosmic realms after she broke up with uh, her her husband and she started to see things and feel things and and uh, the way she talked about it I was like oh okay this is another I don't know not case that imagines things or you know the new age stuff and when she asked for the paper and the pen I handed them and me and my friend we were there together just walked away it felt awkward and and all and I was like um, not taking it too seriously but as she doodled there and I started I was like few meters away from her tried to like close her away her energy away from mine and I started to feel physically feel something and it I got curious and then I looked at what she's doing and and it it's hard to explain maybe a little bit but um, I somehow felt that this is a re real thing then she finished she handed me the paper and the things she started to tell me hit me like a hammer because everything she said was true and I started to remember exactly she said to me that uh, you actually have closed off some things and you have to open them right now because it's time and I'm here to deliver you the message that you have felt it already but it's really time to do it now and to go to the next or take the ne next step and said that you have closed everything off because you saw things as a child but you were afraid of them and didn't understand and then you just shut them off and as she talked I just started to remember I have long forgotten obviously I have just shut them totally away from my being that what I saw and what I experienced and and how afraid I was actually and it all came back to me like with, with waves and waves of, of memories and then I realized indeed that is what I'm afraid of because it was scary as I was child I didn't understand who was trying to communicate what I saw and why they were scary and etc so and then I was thinking at the same time when she was talking and she couldn't see what I'm thinking right now because I can pull a pretty good poker face while I'm I'm uh, doing doing thinking things and and so she said there's no demons you are afraid of demons but there's no d 
demons. There are just lower energies that we see as demons, but they are lower beings and can't actually harm us. They can only feed from our fear and our like nightmares and, and everything. And I was just at the same time or before thinking that um, but these were demons. I thought I saw demons and I was afraid of them. And these type of creatures in the lucid dream or the dreaming dreaming areas until this day have been holding me away from from um, going forward. I've learned to stand up to them and not not letting them to to uh, affect me but but uh, the thing she said was you don't have to fight them you have to disintegrate them with love and next time they are coming at you and she said coming at you and this is the way these things have been like I close my eyes and you see the darkness you're sleeping or almost asleep in between and then these faces or hands or something start coming like uh, closer and closer or they come from afar and stop in in your face and I always have felt this heart racing and everything physically like I am afraid but I'm standing against them and saying them that I'm not afraid get lost and everything like this but she said that don't fight them but say to each and every one of them or each and every one thing that scares you say that I love you too not you too but I love you too or you as well and you and you and this takes away their power over you and you can pass through this dark area and ascend to the higher level because they are like the guardians that doesn't let you through if you are afraid not ready and everything so like Kerberos I thought right now that you can't pass to the spirit world if you're afraid of the guardians just came to me thank you so so this type of thing and I still haven't figured out what she what the message is the the uh, paper is in my bedroom and I look at this and I try to figure out what the numbers mean and all but she also said that next year will be really really crucial for me and for a lot of people that are ascending right now because many things are going to happen around us and we have to be strong and and stand against not only the inner demons we have to have conquered them already by then and so we can see past the fear and interesting that uh, the things I saw I will make a separate video about the childhood experiences what I saw and what I felt I had physical um, beings that uh, spoke to me appearing to me and and this was really really frightening and apparently I have shut off 
every kind of communication on the outside area and I'm afraid of it somewhat still because as I feel the presence when I'm walking around or or I don't know I'm not talking about the sleeping realm right now I feel the presence of someone and I communicate with them like talking with them and and um, uh, always explaining that you came to me in vain because I can't see you I can't help you and I just can I don't know uh, send you off or, or send you out which is a must you ha don't have you never let someone you feel a present in your home or your your space hang in there you have to physically open the door and ask them to, to leave and and you feel when they have left so these things have happening to me and I've always been afraid to see actually them and and to hear or understand what they are wanting because I'm afraid I will lose my cool and maybe I can't help them and maybe they are coming with not pure intentions or I can't like deal with them and yeah the Fear is the the huge part that holds us back from doing things, from evolving, from from getting in touch with with yourself. And digging in deeper. So all this and the main thing I wanted to say I'm really really okay and in the best place I have had the tower moment or the really low moment a five years ago from now which triggered all this and all this where I am now and uh, which I had ha have still some scars of but um, I am showing them proudly and I'm happy for, for all those experiences so so yeah I'm really really okay I'm just I'm just afraid to move forward but the more I get the information and people coming up to me from they are strangers to me and I have never experienced this type of uh, attention attention being another thing that I have shut off like uh, myself because I have never loved to be in a center of at attention or to stand out um but now I, ha I have like let go of this because I don't give a fish what people think or or how I look or how people perceive me I just am and weirdly enough this is the way It has somewhat like light is is luring in the the beautiful butterflies all the information that has come to me after I switched my light light on it is really interesting and yeah I'm really really good not not um, 
not to worry about me. I'm really in a good place right now. In a verge of taking some steps into the unknown for me. And I really am thankful that all of you who reached out and was worried about me. I am all well and hopefully will achieve the goals I have set for myself and will achieve the the uh, opening of, of the blockages I have set on myself and despite the fear despite the the fear of the unknown I am going to do it and I will make sure to keep you posted and while I will be having um, those events on every every weekend until the end of the August after that I think in September I will make a few more drums and stuff stuff or prepare the the heights for the drums because I can um, do the drums on the winter time as well but not prepare the heights themselves so the frames and all the other stuff I can do indoors as well only if I have a pile of of heights done and um, giving birth to all of those drums has been amazing actually and I never thought I would would be doing so many and now I'm addicted because it's really like giving birth because each and every one of them are different and are with their own sound and spirit and it somewhat made me emotional I'm not going to cry no <laughs> so yeah all this and what I wanted to say I'm really really thankful that you were worried about me or or some of you were wishing me luck and were happy about me I am happy about all of you as well and I can't remember who said it in the comments uh, below the uh, previous video, but we have to stick together and yes to that. Um, and even if there's distance between us, we have to build this uh, universal strength or, or the mindset in order to face everything that is coming and, and also learn to maybe witness some huge losses and, and huge pain and deal with that as well. Uh, if you're an empath or have a strong empathic uh, traits, then this is one thing that's hard to to even think about, let alone actually live in in it. So, yeah. Well, I have I have a message for all of you. Take care of yourself and take care of, of uh, your inner health, which reflects on your outer health as well. And build the inner core and strength with the knowledge, with the, the experiences, with, with uh, not being afraid of of uh, going after your your uh, whatever you are pulled to do and 
care less about what others think you have to do, care less about what frames you are pushed into and and while you can't just go crazy and uh, this way we will end up in a loony bin but uh, you can't fight the asymmetrical war with symmetrical weapons is a good idea and I'm not talking literal war but I hope you get what I mean so asymmetrical but don't step on anyone's toes or don't shout from the rooftops because these things are right now to be held within not without what everyone else does and thinks is none of our your or my business and the less you stick your nose into others business deal with your own and and this is the only thing that actually matters so think with your heart and your mind and I wish you well and we will meet soon I think I have a lot to tell in the future but I will keep you posted and once again I'm really really thankful for everyone that reached out and rooted for me or was worried don't be worried I'm in a good place like I said worry less about others and more about yourself thank you for watching and bye